turning this and then I typically just would put it on standby to be honest with you. So now we're on standby. Then we're gonna go back into it like if I just want like charts, I want radar overlay. There you go. And that's gonna kick us back. There's no need, that's pretty ugly out there. And there we go there, toughest tape. This is your autopilot up here, and here's your stereo. So if I want to mute it, volume up, that's under your toolbar. Or if I want your autopilot right here, or to stop radar. See how I just hit that? Now it's a heading hole. Now it shuts it off. So you got these bars up there that tell you your radar is going. You go to info. You can go to tides and currents, trips and grab, tides, nearby, there you go. You can go to moon phase, all that good stuff. You can add these, but uh, go back in here and I went to like, uh, oh, radar right here. Yeah, wow, these are getting bigger and bigger. We'll go dual radar, so we got radar, radar A, radar B. Better pay what attention to what I'm doing here. Thank goodness I'm in the stadium. There we go. Straighten around a little bit. <laughs> kind of fun. So anyway, this will be three quarter mile radar and this will be like a half mile. And then you can go into radar over here to dual radar. Then you got a quarter to three. So say something was out a mile, like to put one for a mile, one for if it got foggy to a quarter mile. So that means if boat was right here and I had it on a mile, I probably wouldn't see it, but I'd see it if I had it at a quarter mile. Same vice versa, if this was quarter, quarter, that means I couldn't see nothing three quarters ahead. That's why I just, yep, better straighten her out. Pay attention. Okay, then you go back in here, you can go to combos and you can go to the combo I made which gives you all your depth finders. It might have lower your transducer head. The, balance, the boat is balanced perfect. Everything works. Uh, so I'm just gonna have it go like this. So I'm gonna pick up just a little speed here. And then I'm gonna trim it up just a hair. Leave the trim tabs where they're at. In conditions like this, you could leave the trim all the way down. And then I'm gonna just hit gauge on the autopilot. Oh, I can show you this too while I'm at it. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna go back into here, go back into charts, uh, go into combo. And I didn't see this one here. Yeah, here you go. Okay, so now I'm on this one, right? I can mess around with this one. And still, this one's gonna stay where it's at so I know where I'm at, there's a buoy coming up. But say I wanna go way over back where I started right over here I can put a waypoint for right here up tap that right here look there then what I can do is make this bigger is that auto guidance and then it's gonna say start navigation and then it's gonna say do you want to engage yes I do then it hit back now I'm on a autopilot. I created a route from here, clean the back where I put in. That's one nice thing with Garmin. Now the closer you are zoomed into these, the closer that cam's gonna look like to you. So I'm pretty close. I'm gonna zoom out just a hair like that. Now we're gonna start part three on this 2550.